Khartoum is not her real name. We're calling her that to protect her identity. The 15-year-old Rohingya refugee says her mother, father, brother and sister were all killed by a mortar shell fired by the Myanmar military at her village three months ago. She says after she escaped by boat to Bangladesh, two women approached her on the beach saying they could help her. Instead, they sold her into sex slavery. They told me if I went with them, they would look after me and help me find a husband. Khartoum says that after three weeks of being locked in a house alone, she was sold to a Bangladeshi man. She says the man took her to another house, raped and sexually abused her for 12 days. He said, I will choke you, I will stab you, I will kill you. Do you want to be killed the way the military killed people in Myanmar? I won't let you go. A local aid agency that led us to Khartoum, but doesn't want to be named, said its staff working with trafficking victims have received death threats from criminal gangs operating in the refugee camps. The head of the organization told us Rohingya girls, some as young as 13, are being taken by the traffickers. It's thought some have been smuggled abroad. Hasina Begum and her family have been living in a refugee camp in Bangladesh since fleeing an earlier crackdown by the Myanmar military in the 1990s. A teenage girl was kidnapped on the way to school. The kidnappers were wearing a woman's niqab to cover their faces. That's why they weren't recognised. The United Nations says sex and labour trafficking networks have existed in the camps for years. But more than 620,000 Rohingya have arrived here in the last couple of months and at least 60% of them are children. And aid agencies having to focus on the delivery of vital humanitarian assistance at this stage say so the trafficking situation here is getting worse. With so many vulnerable people coming into a small area in such a short space of time, um, it's definite almost that it's increased. Um, there's been recruiters here in Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh, previous to this influx, and we know that they're getting more business and that new criminal networks have sort of kicked into action. We have to start addressing it, uh, and we have to do it now, urgently. After 12 days, the man who bought Khartoum returned her to the two women who sold her. They left her in the refugee camp, where she now lives with the woman who found her alone and afraid. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh.